Welcome to Comic Book Historians, I'm Alex Grand. Go ahead and click on that juicy red subscribe button down below. Today we're talking about Jack Cole and his suicide note to Hugh Hefner, but first, a little background. Jack Cole, just like other artists like Mac Rabway, got his start in the Harry Chesler studio during the golden age of comic books. He came into his own where Cole created the Comet, the golden age precursor to X-Men Cyclops, and is also responsible for turning the yellow golden age daredevil red. He was an influence on a young Wally Wood who actually followed this transition of Daredevil from yellow to red and applied that to his character that he started working on, taking over from creators like Bill Everett and Joe Orlando. Besides these Silver Age Marvel precursors, he came into his own crowning Golden Age comic book character achievement when he left Lev Gleason for quality comics and created and continued the adventures of Plastic Man from Police Comics 1, 1941. His images here are staggeringly entertaining, utilizing a cartoon approach and mixing it with both the crime and superhero genre, making an incredibly entertaining and visually stunning series of comic books. For the modern reader, he was basically behaviorally Deadpool before there was a Deadpool. He worked on Plastic Man through part of the Atomic Age, and he also worked on some pretty disturbing crime comics that were actually used during the 1950s hearings on comic books and their detrimental effect on juveniles. He jumped ship from the industry and finally landed a girly cartooning gig for Hugh Hefner's Playboy magazine in 1954. On August 13, 1958, he got into his Chevy station wagon and committed suicide from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was known to have written a letter to Hugh Hefner before his death. And here is that note. Dear Hef, when you read this, I shall be dead. I cannot go on living with myself and hurting those dear to me. What I do has nothing to do with you. You have been the best guy I've ever worked for in all these years. I'm only sorry I leave, owing you so much. But dear Dorothy will repay you when the estate is settled. I wish you nothing but the best in the years to come. Also, my best regards to Pat, Art, Ray, Joe, etc., etc., and all the other fine folks at Playboy. Thanks again for everything, Heifer. You're a good boy. Kindest regards, Jack. Fascinating here is the lack of anger and reassuring Hef that he had nothing but respect for him. There is mention that he didn't want to go on hurting anyone. Was that domestic in nature? He mentions owing money to Hef, which would get settled after his death. He brings up names of the Playboy bullpen, so his later career there seemed full with a glowing fondness. It's sad to see this couldn't have been prevented, but there's one thing for certain, that when he wrote this letter, his decision was made. It's tough to figure out why he did this. There's another suicide note that he left for his wife that no one has actually quite read. There's some reports that maybe he and his wife had a hard time creating a child. There's also some other reports that when he did go off to the side of the road and die from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, that he actually bled for a while before he actually passed away. The details are sad, but he leaves behind some beautiful art that we can all look back and enjoy. And if anything, that's a silver lining to a very dark cloud. 